From Pyeongchang, South Korea, at the 2018 Winter Olympic Games, Brenda Costa reporting for SVG. These games have seen major strides forward for the respect being shown towards social media content acquisition and distribution. Exhibit A is this mobile digital studio being deployed here by Eurosport. The broadcaster has live rights of the games in 48 countries across Europe. On this studio, however, the broadcaster is shooting social exclusive content, including Facebook Live shows that are being shot with iPhones and pushed out directly over the native cellular being utilized by the phone. We got a quick tour of this slick facility from David Schaefer. He's Senior Vice President, Olympic Operations and Planning for Discovery Communications. So for us, digital is the forefront of everything we're doing now. So we came up with a new concept for the Olympics to have a mobile digital studio that can go around Pyeongchang and go around the venues. Uh, this hasn't been done before at the Olympics, so it's it's a new concept and it's really a way to reach our, a younger audience. So this is specifically used just for our social platforms to bring uh, our, our the experience closer to the fans and also the athletes. Now, uh, anyone who's planned for an Olympics knows that you know it's it can be a detailed process going through OBS to get some specific things cleared. Once you introduce something new like that, what's that process like of making sure that you know it's okay that you can drive this thing up onto the venue? Well, I think when, when Discovery and Eurosport got the rights, part of our ambition was to be uh, more digital, get closer to the fans, and reach a younger audience. And I think that the, with the IOC and the support of POCOG and OBS, this was actually a, a very smooth process to introduce something new to the Olympics. So, you know, we've been working on it for eight months uh, and gone through all the logistics, and it has been a challenge. But the support of POCOG and OBS uh, has been unprecedented for, for this type of concept. So what kind of content are you creating in this set? When you say digital, social, what does that mean? What kind of things are you shooting? So what we're doing is we're actually uh, bringing our influ influencers in from Europe. Uh, we're bringing fans to the set, and we're also bringing athletes. Uh, and so we only shoot on our, our iPhones. We are, the connectivity is all through uh, Wi-Fi and mobile. Uh, and what we're capturing are, are their experiences here at the Olympics. Uh, bringing the athletes in, not asking the typical questions, but what are they doing? What are they eating at night? Right. You know, how are they preparing for the games? What are they doing outside of the venues? So this is what really the purpose of, of this mobile digital studio. Pleased with it so far? I know it's early. Uh, we're very pleased. Uh, for us, it's been a lot of work to, to move it around. Sure. Yeah. Uh, but once we get into location, uh, uh, we're, we've been very happy with the content. And we're seeing uh, good numbers ac across our social platforms. All right, David. Well, thanks a lot for letting us check it out. We really appreciate right. it. Great seeing you. Yeah, and uh, good luck with everything the rest Thank of the games. You. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. For more coverage of the 2018 Winter Olympic Games, you can visit us online at sportsvideo.org. And you can visit the Sport Tech Live blog covering these Olympics all the way through to the closing ceremonies.